hey guys what's up so in the previous mysql video we saw that how to load data into your mysql table you from a text file we saw the uh, load command so in this video we will go kind of very um, the most usual way of inserting data in your table for, uh, in your day-to-day -day mysql activity that is the insert query so how to write an insert query to uh, get some data inside your table so insert query is kind of uh, when you want to enter data one by one after the other it's like one data at a time that is the time when we go for insert query but when it's about the mass data like a whole file hundreds of records then you should stick to the load thing that we saw in the previous video so let us I mean this uh, this is our pet table and these are all the records that we loaded using the load data command now we are going to insert another record into this table but this time we will use insert query so how do we write insert query in mysql okay so to write insert query we will first write insert obviously we are going to insert records now where do you want to insert record into pet table okay then insert into name of your table then what do you want to insert of course we want to insert some values then values and then parentheses and inside this parentheses you will write all the values for that particular column in the order of the column names and also you should be aware about the data type that you will be printing so first is name first we will write a value for the name column okay so sorry yeah so that is the name of the next pet and now we will put the name of the owner okay now the species and now the gender of the pet it is female and now date of birth again dates are passed as a strings but in this particular format yyyy dash mm dash dd and then death since this pet is still alive we are going to pass null so in insert queries for null we pass null but for the load data query we saw that we pass backslash n okay so that was our whole query so let us again understand this query we are inserting some values into the table so that is why we write insert into name of the table then since we are going to pass values then values and then inside the parenthesis we pass the values one after other into the order of the column names okay and then values will have the same data type as was the expected for that particular column okay enter so our data is gone because it is saying query okay there is no problem one row affected it means here one row was added into our table which is again expected and then 0, 0.00 seconds so it took almost 0 seconds for mysql to execute this query okay so let us just check it out again if our data was correctly inserted into the table so select start from pet and now you can see this is the data that we inserted using our last query okay now we will look at another variant of insert into query this time we do not want to pass all the values okay or we want to we just do not want to stick to the column orders while inserting values then how do you write that again this will be insert into the name of your table okay here you will pass the name of the columns so let's say name owner species or let's say species and birth and I'm going to skip death I don't want to pass the value for death because death is all not there this bit I'm going to insert the value for is already alive so I don't want to just mention even death here okay now values 
name of the pet Rexy and the owner Matt and then sex female species mm, dog and then the birth Rexy was born in okay 1994 January 1st I think there is some problem okay so same I call in or oh, enter okay so this was our query insert into pet then this time I'm not since I do not want to stick to the order in which the columns are there so for that I'll have to mention the order manually okay I will so I'm telling my SQL query that this time the values will be passed in this order of the columns rather than the one defined by the table because many times you just do not know what is the order of the columns and many times there are there might be so many columns and you do not want to pass values for all of them so rather than writing null 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 for all of them it just means the columns that you really want to pass the values for okay so here I do not want to pass the value for death I do not want to follow the order of the columns that is there by default in the table so that is why I have mentioned the name of the columns in the order that I am going to pass my values okay so now let's again check whether we were able to successfully insert the record or not okay so here you can see name owner species sex birth and death we didn't pass any value so null was uh, automatically inserted so this is the way we write insert queries in mysql this is a very useful query i mean one of the most fundamental queries in mysql so that was all for this video thank you guys for watching this video see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye